Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching some more Dragon Ball Super. We had a very, very big episode in last video. Uh, we did four, and uh, the last one was the Ultra Instinct episode. That was massive. It was. It's been a while since we've had a new transformation. I believe it was... 100 episodes ago, pretty much. It was blue, right? Yeah. I remember things sometimes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was really really awesome just the way they built that scene yeah so it was nice to see another transformation we had weiss explain it <laughs> um which is always nice we love his explanations we do uh, they're they're very much needed uh also towards the end of the episode or pretty much at the end of the episode freezer kidnapped goku pretty much <laughs> so i'm hoping that zaps him back into the ultra instinct mode oh yes yeah so he's he's currently out of ultra instinct so yes that was my theory. Yeah, yeah. How does he get back in? Freezer's gonna zap him back in. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, I do like the addition of Freezer. Um, yeah, he kind of played Froze there for a minute. That was epic. He did play Froze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Frost is eliminated. That also happened in last video. Froze got burnt. Froze didn't just get eliminated. He... My pun, Angelo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Froze got burnt. Okay, yeah, that's all right. I don't mind that. Um, yeah, Frost is, is gone completely. Um, I'm exterminated yeah by by the by the zennies incredible mm, oh was, yeah was, oh my gosh that was one of the funnier moments of the of the last few episodes i think yeah definitely yeah uh but no freeze is a good addition uh even though some people say ah oh, they keep bringing back freezer he's iconic he's probably the most iconic villain in the franchise and one of the most iconic villains in anime in general so it's wow. fine and uh this is in a very much different setting uh he's working on our team to some capacity, at least. Yeah, I still don't trust him 100%, obviously. Mm. You know, he's got that snake blood in him, so. Yeah, yeah. But also, if you guys are interested in getting early access to these episodes, I'll leave a link to our Patreon down below. Also, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It'd really help us out. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. So sneaky. He's gonna put him back. You think he's gi giving him energy? I've shared some of my energy. Oh, just like let's on, go, Freezer. Just like on Namek. Now you can move even in your sad state. Wow. We're all square. I love the callback. You did say this at the end of last episode, I think. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's for selfish reasons, I see. At least he's be being a realist. I'd love to see Jiren, like, slap him around a bit by the tail. <laughs> oh, dear. Poor hit. Yeah, hit versus Jiren. This will be his first loss ever. Everything is in like time a thousand speed. Shit. Oh. Jiren is good, man. He broke through it. He's gonna need something else to defeat Jiren or come close. I actually really like this soundtrack. I like this song. The whole time skipping thing was that. Uh, a nice little element to super. Yeah. Definitely a welcome addition. Makes the fighting a little bit more interesting too. Yeah, it does. I find myself going for hit. Is that normal? Yeah, it's fine. You can go for who you want. Okay. The boys. 
looking for a fight. We got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> I love the duo. I like that they're a different shade of green. Hmm. But we won't get confused during the fight. Vegeta, deal with her right now. Oh, please. Please. Please, Vegeta. He'll go to number one. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Get her. Oh, this is satisfying to see. Uh, oh, for goodness sakes. Come on, Vegeta, blow him up. <laughs> We're quickly losing ground to the other universes. Yep, just it's time to give up. Oh shit! She's my favorite character. <laughs> Let's go, Rosie. You were saying? I hate Rosie. <laughs> Takes a little longer with someone like Jiren, you know? Oh yeah, I'm sure. Okay. You got him. Go hit. A time prison. My guy! Oh my gosh, he almost knocked him over. He was stuck. Oh my gosh. Yeah, hit's impressive. He is. Is he gonna be strong enough to get out of it? It's got to hold him in there, though. Ah. Oh. Don't interfere with Jiren. Leave him to me. But while he's contained, there's much more you three can do. So move. He's right, ladies. Let's go. Okay. I, I don't think he's right. I think they should all just focus on Jiren, but... True. It's getting a bit proud, I think. Oh, dear. I thought this might happen. Look at him. Shit. Oh no. He's too strong. No, you still got like 40 minutes left, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how long exactly where we're up to. Was it like 38? What on earth is going on? To those flames or whatever in his eyes. Yeah. Oh no, hit. Get away. Get away. You know what the pride of an assassin is good for. Nothing. Oh. This dude is next level. That didn't last long, did it? That's what she said. <laughs> no. He's barely in first gear. Honestly. Yeah. I hate to see this happen to hit. I really do. No. Does he knock him out? Surely not. Yeah. Did he kill him? No. <sighs> not allowed to. It was their best fighter too. I'm actually shocked right- I'm shocked right now. Well, I mean... He faced off against pretty much the best dude there. I'm genuinely sad about that. Yeah, Hit, Hit's good. I like Hit. He's alright. I didn't expect that. I thought Hit was going to be like one of the last ones standing. Hmm.
He's just gonna chill. Uh, excuse me? No one is worthy of him. So he's gonna meditate. Concentrate his energy. Okay. I mean, they're robots, so they don't have brains. <laughs> Precisely. If you're not strong enough to pierce the energy barrier he has raised, there's no point in fighting him at all. Yeah, that's a pretty good point. He's not even doing anything. His energy is just strong enough as it is to protect him. Oh no. You hate to say it. You really do. Especially when Jiren is there just, you know, chilling. Yeah, exactly. Listen to Piccolo. He's the captain. Gohan's the captain. That's my bad. <laughs> That's my bad. Nice. That was nice. I'm okay. Guess we shouldn't be surprised other universes have strong Namekians as well. <laughs> He's kind of proud, I think. Oh. He's being smart. He knows there's more that those two can do together. Right. Go, Kaba. Yeah, I don't mind Kaba. He's alright. That was pretty sick. Yeah, that was sick. Was it energy out of his foot? Yeah, pretty much. It looked like it. <laughs> It's a big booty. <laughs> Shit, I forgot about that. The heck? It's like a massive bowling ball. Did her ass just go like Super Saiyan or some shit? Like, <laughs> the heck was that? Oh my gosh. Come on, Kaba. She, she's not that stupid. Oh. <gasps> no! Someone's gonna catch him. No, he can't have fallen. I knew it. Is it Vegeta? I'll die. <laughs> I was waiting. And then he goes, Master. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, waiting for that moment. I'm like, Carly's gonna die. Vegeta's a good man. How could you lose just someone so pathetic? Don't get the wrong idea. Yes, Master. <laughs> I didn't pull you back out of kindness. I just can't let us say and embarrass our race by losing. Yeah, yeah, sure. You said you'd take me to Planet Sadala. You know, the king of Planet Sadala is a proud, strong man, much like yourself. In fact, you remind me of him. That's so. You'll have to introduce I really hope they revisit this. Oh, that's great! No, shut up, Vegeta! This is great! Fight with all you have. Bring honor to yourself and our kind. Okay, I will. I feel really good about that. Yeah, that was nice. It was a nice interaction. I never thought about that. Using the Dragon Balls to bring back another universe. It really makes the stomach turn, doesn't it? <laughs> Fraser doesn't... 
Uh, he despises this sort of shit more than anything. <laughs> yeah. He's not gonna stuff up again now. Oh, the eye flash. Kind of like expecting Vegeta to come up behind her and rip her head off or something. Oh shit. Nice, nice. Super, Sta Super Saiyan 2 is still my favourite. It should. <laughs> Yeah, she didn't watch the Cell Saga, unfortunately. <laughs> I thought she said, I'll fart on you, you <laughs> little brat. That would be worse. <laughs> It'd still be in character, though. <laughs> yeah. The big fat ass. <sighs> we'll see you later. She belongs in a bloody arcade. I'm sick of some of these characters. Oh my gosh. Well done, lad. That was nice. Mm, I like that was. moment between um, between him and Vegeta. Yeah, it was alright. Oh no! Why does it have to be like this? You don't say that, you asshole. Yeah. That's the biggest insult you could be giving <laughs> Vegeta. That's messed up. Run, Kappa. <laughs> Salutations. <laughs> At least he's being polite about it. It's always got to be racist. Yeah. Oh, sh shit. It's messed up. That triggered him. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, okay. It was like Vegeta's Gallic gun. Mm. Similar. Yeah. Can't kill him. No, he knows that. No. Uh, he knocked him off. I'm only okay with this because of his pact with, with Vegeta. I saw that Kama got knocked out of the ring. Doesn't make any difference. I just have to win this thing. Oh, I see. It's that simple, huh? I love that. That's Let's right. go. We love a back to back Saiyan moment. You're so easily pleased. Yeah, anything with Vegeta. <laughs> I love it. Come on, turn him into toasters. Nice. Got heaps of Saiyans working together. Nice. It wasn't in vain. No, he did a good job. This is pointless. Sixth Why? and seventh shouldn't be versing each other. Well, I mean, <laughs> they should be. Because of the pact. Remember, he's like the pinnacle of Saiyan power so far that she's seen. And she wants that. I'm still angry about this. I do wish. They all called him Kakarot, like his Saiyan name. Oh, yeah. But they know him as Goku, it's fine. Yeah, Vegeta knew him as Kakarot. <laughs> he just backflips away. This is perfect for him, though. Like, mm. he doesn't need to use too much energy. He's still staying warm, like, and, and still fighting. She's fighting a seasoned veteran here. Yeah. Come 
I love it when he smokes when he's fighting. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Oh! You yeah, don't tell a Saiyan that. Can't be doing that. I was shocked that he, she told him to shut up. That's nice. Oh. <laughs> the after image. She's got a lot to learn. He's impressive, considering mm. the amount that he's he's been through against like Jiren. Yeah. And he's in his base form. Shows you like how much experience he's had. Yeah, Frieza didn't give him got. energy though. Yeah, I know that, but like he's not transformed or anything. Yeah, true, true. He's just fighting on on you know pure like experience and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, she's very gifted. Mm. Very gifted fighter. Okay. <laughs> People change. It's all good. Oh, I love ways. Oh, for goodness sakes. He changes his strategy, like, every two seconds. Yeah. He's the type who, like, goes after the winning soccer team in a match. Yeah. He said he was a born strategist, too. <laughs> Should have enough energy now. She's so excited. <laughs> She's earned, what, Super Saiyan? Well, there's lightning. Super Saiyan 2. That's hot. <laughs> Go on, man. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, remember how much it zaps. Yeah. That's why, it, like, we barely see it. I love the, the little, like, Saiyan mini arc that we're getting. Yeah, I don't today. mind it either. Yeah, better than the Universe 2 shit. Oh, for goodness sakes. I always need one of them yells just to kick me into gear, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're so good. I, I actually really like Colorful's voice actress too. Yeah. She suits her really well. Yeah. See, Cabba sounds like your typical anime MC in a dub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're going to inadvertently, like, knock people out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's getting so much better oh. like, as, as she fights. That was nice. He got it. She got him good there. I'm starting to think you can reach three now. Maybe even beyond. Wow. So, how about you, Kale? Are you game? Honestly, yeah. <laughs> we can get to three together. Right. Brainless fool. <laughs> I was waiting for Beerus to lose his shit. <laughs> like angry and gentle it's very funny <laughs> yeah that's so strange okay she's making it weird she's just very emotional it's okay <laughs> can relate it's pretty cool teamwork though from the two yeah He's actually been quite defensive in the fight, so he's able to, like, regenerate his uh, power a bit more. All oh, right. You know, that thing he was doing against Jiren. Ooh. Autonomous Alter Instinct is a martial mastery that's hard for even destroyers to reliably achieve. As adept as Goku is in battle, it would be impossible for him to accomplish it again with such quickness and ease. Why would Roshi have brought that up then? Roshi Maybe obviously it's... sees something, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Got big chills now. What's going on here? <gasps> Three. Yeah, baby. Three is sexy. It really is. Yeah, I do really prefer sexy. two, but... Oh, I love the stance. I love the stance. I love the voice change as well. It goes deeper. Mm. I haven't seen three in ages. Yeah. A little glimpse. A little taste. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least we got to see it. Yeah. Oh, she looks scary as. Oh! <laughs> I love that. I remember that, that looks moment so too. Sick. I love that. <laughs> it's like the legendary Super Saiyan form. Mm. Yeah. No pupils and whatnot. I'm happy with this pack that they have. <laughs> Vegeta and Kaba. Yeah. Except I feel like Freeze is going to do whatever he can to get his greasy hands on the balls. Mm. Yeah. We had quite a bit from uh, Freezer, Vegeta, Goku, the other Saiyans uh, in these stretch of episodes. I do. I'm like you. I kind of, I get all giddy when I see the Vegeta moments. They're always nice. You, you don't need a lot, but nah. it just... It's rewarding because that's how well they, you know, wrote the character early on. Yes. So even even in a brand new like series like Super, we've been on a journey with Vegeta. Yeah. We're rewatching Z at the moment. Yeah. And I kind of forgot how like evil he was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just killing you know all the Namekians and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just having all that history and stuff with him, seeing how far he's come. Yeah. He's now like you know a father. To one yeah. of my favorites, Trunks, husband yeah. to Bulma. Yeah. Yeah. It's just really nice to see. Yeah. I just like the whole Saiyan talk there. It makes a lot of sense for Vegeta to um, be interested in Kaba's world and and all of that. Mm. He was a, you know, well, he is the prince. He's a prince, right? So. Maybe he's thinking like the king of Saiyans in universe six is like his father like he probably wants to see him again for that reason well there's also like vegeta was and he didn't show this a lot but he was obviously not happy when he found out that that when his planet was destroyed and all of his fellow uh, saiyans uh, he's a very proud guy yeah um and a lot of like the respect that he has for goku is because of the fact that he's a saiyan too and so that sort of stuff means a lot to the character so yeah I, I really liked it how Kaba, you know, calls him master. And I like that little, like, pupil, you know, teacher or pupil master dynamic that they got going on there. Yeah. Uh, tough love as well. He's like, don't disgrace us. Yeah. Yeah, and then Kaba did all right, you know. He redeemed himself well enough, I reckon. Yeah, he did. I don't mind Kaba. He uh, paved the way for the other two. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of Kaba's design, per se, but... Um, yeah, someone said he had noodle arms. Yeah, I, that's... Yeah. I don't think that's my my issue with with the, the character design. I just personally don't don't like the design of Kaba. I I actually do like the design of um Kale or Kale in her Super Saiyan form, and then I like Cauliflower's design just in general. But yeah, no, Kaba's all right. Uh, I like the moments there with Vegeta. That was one of the highlights. Mm -hmm, um, definitely, Vegeta was about to fight Top, so you can expect to see that soon. Yeah, true. That'll be pretty intense. Mm -hmm. Because you've got, like, Vegeta who's not going to hold back and doesn't really mind, you know, breaking a few ethical uh, barriers. <laughs> and then there's Top who probably wouldn't do that, but he's, like, very strong. Mm. So, yeah, that'll be an interesting fight for sure. Yeah, well, the the next video, like, you've got a few things to look forward to. You you know, I don't remember specific episodes because I've only seen it, seen it once. But, um, yeah, there's the, the Top Vegeta fight that's teased. Uh, you've got Kale Goku fight that's just been teased at the end there. Jiren's kind of just, he's just chilling. He's sitting down meditating. Uh, you got Piccolo and Gohan versus the uh, the other Namekians. Yep. Hit was eliminated. I can't believe it. Yeah. He was still quite impressive, I reckon, though. Yeah, it was impressive, considering how strong Jiren is, obviously. Yep. Uh, I guess he did a good enough job, but he just, he couldn't get there, obviously. No. 
No, but I like the whole time skip thing. I like all of Hit's fights, to be honest. I think they're pretty cool. I like the accumulative time that he was um, holding on to there and all that mm, stuff. Very that, smart. Yeah, all, all that stuff I quite like. Colorfly is proving to be quite the menace. She's a very um, fast learner, so... Yeah, um, she had everyone shocked. Yeah, that's her skill. Like, she just... When she's fighting, she's just learning on the spot. Yeah. Without even really trying. She's just kind of, like, um, very gifted in that sense. Mm -hmm. She's probably just, in her universe, fought everyone she's needed to to get where she is now. And now she's got that influence in Goku, who's, like, you know, very strong and very powerful. Yeah. Probably more than anyone she's versed for. Yeah, yeah, obviously. And that's allowed her to grow a lot. Yeah, 100%. Uh, in a short space of time. Uh, then... Also, we had uh, the Return of Super Saiyan 3, but I like it how they, they still always hone in on the flaws of the transformation, or the, like, not the visual flaws for us, but just the the fact that it zaps so much energy right, away. yeah, yeah. Um, you know, they, kept, they kept that consistent from Z, because remember when we first see it in Z, it um, zapped away all the time that he had left on Earth, pretty much, and, yeah. and then in the, the Kid Boo fight, he had to wait so long to be able to get his power back. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, it, it's really strong and powerful, but it has its flaws. That's why uh, Goku prefers to fight in the level below that. Super yeah, Saiyan 2. it's a cool, like, party trick, though, you know? Yeah, exactly. In times like these. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, that was a little callback to when um, Goku showed Trunks and Goten yeah. in Super Saiyan 3. So there's a little callback to Z there. They always do that. They throw them in every now and then. Wait, was it Super Saiyan 2 that was to go even further beyond? No, that's Super Saiyan 3. It is Super Saiyan yeah. 3. Yeah. Yeah, that was iconic. Yeah. I personally don't get, like, tattoos, but that would be one that I would get. Um, <laughs> Just the quote? The quote. Yeah. The Super Saiyan 3 quote. Uh, I would consider this that. This is a Super Saiyan. <laughs> yeah. I like, like, this whole thing, um, this fight was a little uh, Easter egg for all those moments in Z. Yeah, like the demonstrations and all of that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then he was showing Kale and Cauliflower Super Saiyan 3 like he showed Trunks and Goten pretty much. Uh, I like it with the the consistency of the voice change because like when mm. he turns into Super Saiyan 3, his voice deepens quite a bit. I like it how they kept that in. Uh, Sean screams. That we've got a couple of them. Uh, Weiss was reiterating how hard it is to actually achieve Ultra Instinct because Roshi mm. there for, for a second... Sensed something was going on with Goku. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was sort of like, why did Roshi ask that then if we just shut him down immediately? But sometimes with the script and stuff, I notice they ask questions on behalf of the audience. <laughs> yeah, they do that. So I was like, is that just that? Or can Roshi actually sense something is going on that Weiss can't? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure that that's not the case because Weiss is like, you know, big brain. So is Roshi though. Yeah, he knows his student well. Oh yeah, Roshi's... um. He's up there with some of the wisest and, mm, and um, right? educated martial artists. So was it just Super Saiyan 3 that he was uh, sensing then? No. No, no, no. It was more just like... It was the patterns that Goku was fighting in. Oh, okay. And stuff like that. Yeah, he's seen Goku fight a lot, Roshi. Yeah. So he just sensed that he he saw something different. But we quickly shut that down. Now, as, as like wise as Roshi is, you, you probably take Whis in that hierarchy there. Like, Whis um, was also one of Goku's teachers as well. True. Yeah, true. Um, spent heaps of time with him. That's right. Yeah, I guess Roshi spent more time with him, like, early days. Yeah. Again, we have um, we have seen Ribrian, and Ribrian has survived yet again. And I'm getting sick and tired of her shit. It just doesn't really help when people who aren't really sold on Super... As, like, you know, a franchise. Maybe, like, people who love Z but aren't really that fond of Super. Just doesn't really help the case. <laughs> like, this is something they can say to be, like, why would I like Super Universe 2? And yeah. I would be, like, I actually, I get that. Yeah, I, for me, it's, like, they ship me and they don't need to be there. But um, it doesn't taint my, my view on Super, per se. Cause no, I I'm just saying for someone who doesn't like yeah, it already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I see that. I it's see just, their criticism. Um, yeah, I need it to be done. It doesn't fit. They, they, no. don't, they don't make it fit, in my opinion. Like, they are different. I've seen some people in the comment section actually trying to back them up. Hey, if they're your cup of tea, sure, but they shouldn't be. <laughs> it 
I don't know. It's fine if they are. Honestly, it is. Yeah, no, I just find them a little bit ridiculous. That's all. Yeah. I don't, I don't think they belong. But then again, Toriyama's got, you know, a lot of humor and stuff like that. That's how he writes. He writes with humor and that's true. he makes, he turns some things into gags here and there. And that's fine. It's part of the Dragon Ball flair. My criticism is uh, I've seen it too much it's now. It's too long. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy for it to be half an episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe the next half. She just keeps returning. With Ash Ketchum's voice. What? Um, yeah, I watched a lot of Pokemon back in the day. Oh, I actually saw someone <laughs> Someone was pointing it out in the comment section. I did know this, but thank you for writing it anyway for those that didn't know. Uh, yeah, when, when I was young, I used to watch a lot of Pokemon. Uh, Veronica Taylor, who used to voice Ash Ketchum, uh, she voices... Ribrian. Ribrian. Oh my god. And goodness. I and, and I do hear a little bit. The voice is different to Ash, obviously, but I do hear, hear. I can hear I can hear Ash. Yeah. And That's so funny. Yeah, and they're on the yeah, they're on two different ends of the spectrum for me, you know, like I can't stand Ribrian, but Ash is, you know, Ash is my boy. So it's painful at times, but she does a good job of voicing the character. I feel like it would be nice if Frieza finished off Ribrian. Yeah, so that, that was the other thing to talk about quickly before we wrap it up. Uh, Frieza had quite a bit in this uh, mm. in these stretch of episodes. Yeah, he did. Eliminated Kaba. Uh, Gave at, some energy to Goku. Yeah, I like that little... I, I think you did predict I that, did. didn't you? Yeah, yeah because... But, uh, I actually said that he was going to um, shock him back into Ultra Instinct. Okay, all right. So but I was wrong there. You picked up on the, the commentary there from Frieza uh, at the end of last video where, you, where he said, just like on... Namek, you made that connection that maybe he's going to return the favor mm. like Goku did on Namek. I, I like that callback. That was pretty cool. Uh, their interaction's always funny. And then Freeze's vocab is just hilarious as usual. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. Just speaking shit. But yeah, he's still got his own little agenda at play here and he's still scheming behind the scenes. He wants those balls. He does want those balls. Yeah. And he wants them served hot. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.